Hiya. Um, do you get your, your watercolour paintings uh, when they're being framed? You get that sort of cockling between the paper and the, the actual mount. You know, it's as though the, the paper sort of come off, off the mount sort of thing. Well, it's all to do with, with stretching your paper. Anyway, here's a, a way of stretching your paper on your board. This is what I mean here. You know, it's just cockling the side of the paper where it meets the mount. I suppose you've heard about, you know, how to stretch paper, you, you stick it in the bath and, and stuff like that, but, you know, I can't be bothered with that. I do it on the on the board like this. Just get me a full sheet of watercolour paper or whatever size you want. Work it through. Just go across. Come down. With a loaded wet brush. Couple of strokes one way and then one the other. You don't want to take the size enough for the, the watercolour paper or anything. Look in the light on the side just to see if you've covered everywhere. onto my paper and drips down into a little ball at the bottom there. And it's quite hot at the moment so that paper's going to dry within 10 minutes. So I'll just leave it to dry and we'll carry on. You need some gum tape, just normal gum tape. You can get it from any art supplies. I'm just going to cut it to the size of my board. So that way. I've got a couple of wide brushes, cheap wide brushes, that's all they are. That one I use for the paper, and this one using for the tape, and I put water on the tape, brush water on the tape. I've got two long lengths of uh, paper, some of this roll over the ends. three strokes otherwise you're going to take the gum paper off. Just do this and get rid of all the excess water. Now I've turned my board round here because this board isn't, isn't quite big enough on this one. So I've turned my board round. So you're doing the, the bottom edge now, just the same as the top edge. So you do so simple. This side. How you do? So simple. I'm just going to go around it again with my hands. But, uh, I'm going to turn it around because I said my board isn't, this board isn't quite big enough. All my others have. Wipe my hands. Make sure it's down. You don't have to go banana with it. If you get little little creases and that, don't worry about it. I'll still 
still go down. Right, that paper will be perfectly flat in an hour, in about an hour's time, and you could paint on it then, but I've got two or three three boards uh, on the go, you know. I put another paper on the other side of this, I do the same thing on the other side of this board, and I've got a couple other boards which I do, do the same, so I've always got paper going all the time. But as I said, this will be perfectly flat in about an hour, and you could paint on it then, but I'll leave it over there. What you mustn't do, by the way, is uh, once you've taped your, your board up and you're, you're, you're leaving it overnight or whatever, don't leave it in the sun. If you leave it in the sun, it'll all, the, the paper will come off, the gum paper will come off the paper. So you have that copying. So never leave it in the sun once you've taped it all up. And you've got it perfectly flat onto the paper. And that's how it will end up once it's framed. But the thing that um, you, you've got to do, you've got to paint on this, on this board while the tape is there. Otherwise, if, if you paint on it, if you take the, the tapes off and then you paint on it, it's going to buckle. But it won't buckle as long as you've got those tapes there. So paint it with the tapes there and finish your painting. It might take a month. Don't take the tapes off. And when you finish the painting finally, take the tapes off and you, you paint your paper will perfectly flat. And then when you go to the framers, you, you, get, you get it framed. You won't have that cockling down the side with paper, you know, where the mount is. Hope you enjoyed it. Bubble.